guys, so today I'm going to do a empties video and I've not done it like ever. So I thought it would be interesting to show you what all I ran out of and whether I'll be repurchasing that thing or not. And just, just mind you, this is a long video because I have used up a lot of products and these products are not from just November or October. I've been collecting them for quite a few months now. So there are quite a lot of products and also I used up a lot of samples and like little things that I get in my subscription boxes just thought that what's the point of just collecting them in drawers. So we use them and let's get started. So the first thing that I ran out of were my wipes. I use these wipes all the time to remove my makeup, clean my laptop like for every single thing so i ran out of this packet and of course i've already repurchased them actually i am almost running out of my second packet as well uh, these are johnson's baby skincare wipes and i always get it in this big pack because it has this um like flap so you don't have to bother about sticking that little thing again and again and your wipes won't get dry so that was the first thing the second thing that i ran out of was this it is shop scarves volume boost shampoo and i have a review on it i'll link it somewhere here uh i hated this shampoo it was so bad it managed to dry out my hair and just saying that my hair are not dry even the length or the ends are not dry and this guy managed to just spoil it i'm so happy that i finally ran out of it i did not want to waste it so i used it up and i will not repurchase this third thing actually i have a two of these is johnson's baby shampoo and i use these all the time because i'm always washing my makeup brushes i have a video on how to wash makeup brushes uh, which will be linked somewhere down maybe or maybe i can link it here yes it will link it here and i use the shampoo along with uh, olive oil to wash my brushes so i ran out of both of them i have already repurchased and i love it and i have my favorite favorite cream which is no sun non vc non-stick formula i love it and i am going to repurchase very soon i generally buy like three four bottles in one go so that i don't run out of them easily so i am going to repurchase asap so the next thing that i almost ran out of is this it is body shops body sorbet and um i quite liked it it was good for summer months and a little is left i'm actually done with this i don't know i want to use it again and i don't think i'm going to repurchase it because it's way too costly for the formula it's like 7.95 rupees and i would rather purchase a body butter in place of the sorbet so yeah that is the product i have a review on it actually i have a review on most of the things that i'm going to talk about today so you can watch like on the corner i will be linking all the reviews of the corner so it was good but i will not be repurchasing it was way too costly for what it is then is something which i was super excited for which is l'occitane shower cream i was so excited for it and i tried it like the second day of getting the box i think it was in my envy box last month's my envy box and it i didn't like it that much uh, I mean it foams and everything and I like foaming shower gels but it's fragrance is something which bothers me. It's good when you open it and when you start using it but once you rub it on your body the fragrance changes so I don't like it. I will not be purchasing this. There is another shower gel which I actually loved and which is Davidoff's Cool Water. It is for women and oh my god it smells fabulous like literally fabulous. I love 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 it and I am not going to repurchase it like right away but I might purchase it after like a little bit, little bit because I already have a lot of shower gel, shower creams and stuff like that lying with me but I do love it and if you like using bathing accessories and you don't mind spending a little bit then do try it. It is fabulous. It smells so good like super fresh. You will love taking bath with it. And I don't remember the cost, but I think it was in my fab bag or my envy box. I will link the review here. Of course, I have a review on this as well. So yeah, that was it. And next is something which I got, I'm pretty sure, in my envy box. It is Vana. Uh, it's Vana Vidhi's, what it is, body wash. It was really nice. They had like a complete set of green tea stuff one month i am not sure which month was it but i have a review and i also have a video like it literally looks like an advertisement of my videos and review but what can i say i have a review on it i also have a blog post and a video on it you can go and see it 
so this was really nice it smelled really nice but again i think i have too much shower gel to buy something but otherwise if you want to try something different of like green tea stuff if you love using green tea stuff then this is really nice it's called vana with his strong brew aloe vera and green tea body wash it was really good so i ran out of that then i have something which i truly love using and it's called skill lightening gel and it is by one of my favorite skincare brand which is just herbs so let's just take a moment and talk about just herbs they are like paraben free quality free all natural they are made in india they actually post pictures of their workshops on instagram i love it so i buy a lot of stuff from them no sun sunscreen was also from them so i love using it in summers i use it as my night cream and it evens out the skin tone of course the review is linked here so yeah i ran out of it and i think i will repurchase this i'm not too sure because i have like a lot of i'm testing out something else as a night routine which is also from just herbs so i'll see if that thing doesn't work out i'll try this so yeah so the next product and it's a shower gel again it's called hydrate time shower gel by chron care this was so good i i'm literally waiting to repurchase it once i run out of all my bathing accessories this was just fabulous it smells super fresh and like it is best if you are in summer months then this is really really nice okay next oh tired okay next is uh what is it called it's the malvara body wash again and i came i got it as a set so i think it was in fab bag yeah so this was in fab bag i love 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 the shower gel but i did not like the cream as much it was not that moisturizing so yeah these were the little samples i got i ended up using it i reviewed them this is something which is nice if you're looking for foresty kind of uh, like feel in your in your bath then this is good it literally feels like you're standing under a waterfall and taking bath so that is really refreshing if you are into something like that i am not going to repurchase it because as far as i remember this was really costly so yeah next i have something from khadi uh i got really crazy and i bought like a zillion things from khadi which is uh, if you live in india you know it's uh, all natural like healthy paraben free kind of a store and most of the things i loved but this was something which i didn't love at all it's called khadi's coffee bean and coco face and body scrub so first of all this was really really harsh for face so i was too scared i never used it on my face so that is one thing i got it for my face then i started using it for body and to be very honest it was fabulous when i it came to body but then 110 rupees for just this little container which uh, i mean a person like me who uses a lot of product can use it in one go when it comes to body scrubbing it, i think it's way too costly and i can literally make my own like diy scrub which will cost me absolutely nothing so i don't think i'm going to repurchase it so yeah but then i have something from just herbs which i didn't like actually this is something this is the only product from just herb which i didn't like at all and it's called rose petal face pack steeny mini bottle uh i got it i think as a sample when i made a purchase and i was super excited because it was a clay pack and i tried my best to use it and work it on my face but this guy was like it started irritating my skin the moment you put it on it gives this tingling feeling which is good for like 1 2 seconds but then it gets so bad i just couldn't bear it on my face and i had to wash it off and that is the reason it's still there but i will throw it i will never use it and i don't think i'll repurchase it so that is that then i have something which was sent to me um with a purchase i made a purchase on just herb as i said i purchased a lot from just herb so i got a sample it's called just herb's lively clean face cleansing gel neem and tulsi this is what i got and i was so sure that i am going to hate it because my skin is so sensitive and absolutely nothing works on it but then i like gathered all my courage and tried it one day and this since that day i just trust this product i i think i have a review on it i'll link it as i said just click uh, if you want to read the reviews on every product just keep clicking on this box it will appear here so i have a review on it it is such a mild um, scrub but uh, although it's mild it still works very well 
because um, I mean it still works very well it will take off all the blackheads and whiteheads but it won't tear up your skin it won't leave your skin dead so if you have sensitive oily acne prone skin I would say just go for this I love it I have already repurchased it I've got a full size bottle of it and actually I think I'm gonna run on run out of that one as well very soon so I will repurchase it again it is a part of my skincare routine now. I love using it. And by the way, just saying that this video is not sponsored by Just Herbs. Though I wish it was, but it is not. It's just that I use this brand way too much. I use it a lot. So there are a lot of empties. And because I love it so much, so I'm talking a lot about it. Yeah. And don't worry, we're just coming to the end. And now to something you, which you love, I love, you all love, hair. So this is uh, my go-to hair mask. I love using it. it's called Shopscoffs BC Color Freeze Treatment. I have run out of this one. I'm on my second container. I've already repurchased it. If you have colored hair or if you have like color treated or any kind of hair, if your hair are dead, if you used henna and that made your hair very dry, then you must use this because uh, this is fabulous and it smells amazing. Amazing. Along with Oh, sorry, I threw it on the ground. <laughs> so I use that pack once a week, maximum twice a week, if my hair look a little dead or dry. And for the rest of the days, I use this conditioner, which is the same range. It is from Color Freeze. Uh, it is from Sharp Scarf Color Freeze Conditioner. And it costs 750 rupees. I just posted a review on it on my beauty blog. Uh, the other day, I think it was the day before. It is my favorite conditioner to use for my colored hair. And when my hair were not colored, I was still using a different product, but from Shopscoff. So I really um, like the brand, of course. It smells good. It makes hair soft. I just love it. So for colored hair people, girls, you must try this. And then um, I have another bottle of Just Herb that I can't even read what this product was. But I'm pretty sure it was, a, yeah, it is a silk splash um, face wash. I used it in summer. I used to use it in the morning when I got up. And then at night, I always use my Cetaphil lotion. It works very well, especially if you have normal skin or oily skin. It will take off all the oil and it will not strip. It smells really good. And uh, yeah, I totally recommend it. If But if you have active acne, then don't use it because I feel it, it might dry the acne a little bit yeah so that is that and by the way we have already repurchased the six splash face wash because it works very well for mature skin and my mom is using it so yeah if you have mature skin use it it's really good and then to something which is full like this guy is full and i hate it and i will throw it i'm sorry i'm just saying it bluntly because this actually gave me such bad red patches. It burned my skin and I just didn't like it. It's a Fab India's charcoal pack. And I think every blogger and vlogger loves it. And that is the reason I got it, but it didn't work for me. It's full, I'll just show you. See, it's almost full. It's almost full, I just used it twice. I made sure that I tried. I gave it like two to three tries, but it just burnt my skin. So I'm gonna throw it and I won't repurchase it. Now coming to last two, three products and these are very, very random by the way. So this one is Rasa Shar Gel and I got it when I was on trip on Andamans and it was just so good. It was just fabulous. But I can't find it anywhere online or in Delhi. So I would have actually bought it but I can't find it. So yeah. And then is the second product from the set that Vanagri said that I was talking about, green tea one. And it is called Moisturizing Body Lotion. It was really, really nice. I loved it. And I was using it as my hand cream. And then I ran out of it. It smelled really nice. It was non-greasy. But then again, I think it's a little too costly to be using as a hand cream. And I already have a lot of hand creams. Plus, the next product which I'm showing you is my go-to body lotion hand cream, which I just can't live without, which is this. It is Jargon's Ultra Healing Nourishing and Nourishing um, Body Lotion. And it is just fabulous. If you have dry skin, if you have dry patches, if you have any skin problem, if your skin burns and you don't have an ointment to put on it, if your lips are dry uh, and you don't have a chapstick, then this is the product. I almost use it for everything. I use it every morning after bath for to moisturize my body. I use it a lot of time on lips when I can't find 
my lip balm which is always hidden under like blankets and pillows so i always use it i use it on butts butts no i use it on burns and cuts so i think i mixed both the words but yeah i use it on burns and cuts and everything it works fabulously i have repurchased i think at least 10 to 12 bottles already and i've already repurchased it again so i'm using the next bottle can't live without it and always buy it so yeah that was the last product and that is all for today's video i hope you liked it you can see pictures of products as usual on my beauty blog i hope you read all the reviews of the products which i showed